Jared Poland, Photo.com here with a quick tip about Adobe Lightroom. And this time, we're gonna talk about a slider that has been hidden, and most people don't even know it's there, and they should. It's called Dehaze. So let me show you where the Dehaze slider is. Under the develop module, if you hit D or develop, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom to find a slider called Dehaze. Why is it all the way down at the bottom? Was it an afterthought? Well, yes, it was added many years after Lightroom came out, but what does it do? So right here, we have a photo that Steven took of Star Trails with the Nikon D850, and he did his, his regular editing, and then was like, oh, I wonder what Dehaze is gonna do. Let's, let's do it. Watch this, we're gonna slide it up. Look at the color changing, because what is happening is that it's getting rid of haze that may be in the sky. It's great for landscapes. It's great for pulling out where there's dew or stuff in the air and you need to either accentuate it or get rid of it. In this case, it got rid of a lot of the haze and it accentuated the color that was there and it brings it out, it brought it out. Now there's a couple of other things that it does. In this case, this is an older photo I took back in, what's this, uh, 2008. Let me go back here to Dehaze all the way down at the bottom and there was the smoke, boom. You see how it's getting rid of it? It's not really detracting from the image. It's not taking away the quality. It's getting rid of the haze. Or if you want to add more, it'd be like, oh, it's so smoky in here. You could add more. Not that there's many op op not that there's many times where I'd actually do that, but in this case, I can get rid of that extra smoke in the sky, in the air here, and tighten it up. Add a little bit of a fine-tuned contrast is the way that I look at it. Now, it's different than contrast, because look, let's go here and we could pull the contrast down. We're gonna pull the contrast down on this one. This is from Madison Square Garden. We're gonna go down the dehaze and we can pump that up. It's not replacing or doing the same thing as what contrast does, but it looks really good. I'm kind of happy with the way that that is looking different from where I did it, and I did this extremely contrasty looking thing. I'm gonna actually pull back on my contrast, come back down here to dehaze, and pump the dehaze a little bit because I think it maintains that contrast a little better for this particular image. Watch what it does with the lights also. Look, you could do it and be like, oh, I wanna bring it up a little bit, and you can do this that has that glowy McGlowerson look that the, the hipster style of editing, if that's what you wanna do with a preset, you could get that by pulling out the haze in the image or just dehazing it. That's something that you could do in a preset. I like going up just a little bit because it tightens up the image. Now you could always do spot healing with, a, uh, with the adjustment brush and do the same thing where you could dehaze just part of the images, but I think it tightens things up pretty well. So I'm a big fan of using dehaze. I like the option that it gives me. Now, I wish Lightroom in future editions would move it up to the top because I kind of forget about it from time to time. I want to use it more often, but then I'm like, oh, geez, I forgot Dehaze was there. I just edited 500 different pictures and I forgot about Dehaze. So don't forget about Dehaze. Now, a lot of people ask me about making a Lightroom guide, the Fronos Photo Guide to Lightroom. Well, I haven't done it. Uh, because I am not the foremost expert at Lightroom. I'm good enough to be dangerous for my style of editing and to give you guys quick tips and to show you what works for me, but the person that I learned from since day one, since Lightroom 1.0 came out, is a guy named Matt Kleskowski, and I teamed up with him because he already created what he calls the ultimate Lightroom guide. I call it the encyclopedia. It's a video guide that is 13 plus hours long, and let me show you what it goes over. I, I love what, what it does. Oh, and by the way, if you use the code FRO at Matt K dot com slash fro you'll get a hundred bucks off more than a hundred bucks off bringing the price down to i believe 149 dollars for the 13 plus hours and as a bonus he's giving you 20 free presets now let's 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 go here and see what we have these are this is actually all the videos because i've downloaded them and it's what i turn to when i need to learn more because he goes over the basics and fundamentals. If you're a beginner or if you're an intermediate, there's something you can learn from it. I'm still learning every time I look at his videos. Look at this, before, after, viewing full screen, basic stuff, but then you come down here and you're like, oh, 
How do I do camera calibrations, removing haze, which we just talked about, uh, vignette grain effects. So he goes over a little bit of everything. Look at this. Let, let's, let's break down the course here. These are different modules. Organizing and importing, those are all the different lessons. Each one of these is another video. It does get a little more in depth. So if you think you know the basics, that's cool. But every time, here, let me, let me just say this. Instead of having to go to YouTube and search out to try to find information on a specific thing that you're looking for, you can turn to his ultimate guide first and foremost to try and find that information first because he has it. He's broken down everything about Lightroom. And is this a sales pitch? Absolutely, you bet it's a sales pitch because it's what I use to learn more about Lightroom. I turn to Matt Klukowski to learn as much as I can because he goes over the fundamentals, the basics, and moves into a little bit more of the intermediate stuff that I need a refresher on from time to time. So for a limited time, you can go to mattk.com slash fro to get the ultimate guide to Lightroom at a nice steep discount when you use the code fro at checkout, and you'll get those 20 free presets. That's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Thank you very much, Jared. Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.